I said you wanted it. A lot of people had their opinions and said I should do it, so here it is. So to recap, when I installed the hood sack and released that first video, there were a good many comments and then comments on the comments and a lot of likes on those comments about putting a tractor flap on the hood stack. And I would have never thought of that. Because of that, I'm putting a tractor flap on the hood stack. And all it does is just like sits on top of it and clamps down. It was like 13 bucks on Amazon. So how could I not do it? I have to do it. Time to make the ZR2 a little more unique. Because a hood stack wasn't unique enough. We can do better. We can do much better. With the help of little tractor flap. This thing's pretty sweet. Dirt, 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 dirt. I'm not sure if my truck has enough power to even push this flap up. It might just be down all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous and I love it all at the same time. I honestly love it when you guys come up with ideas like this. So it, more great ideas, just leave them in the comments because this is great. I wouldn't have thought of this. I might as well start it up and see what happens. Guys, this is freaking great. I love this thing. I might have to keep it now. This thing is even more ridiculous than before, and I love it. It's perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. I mean, would you look at it? Look at that freaking thing. <laughs> Just, it's absolutely ridiculous. The perfect Colorado diesel exhaust. Makes all the noises. Surprisingly, you can still hear the intake even with the hood stack. It generally stays up when I'm driving, but you'll see when I come to a stop here, it will uh, you know, kind of shoot back down and hover a little bit. There it goes. Just how freaking stupid and awesome is it? Look, they're jealous. They're jealous of the hood stack and the tractor flap. Oh. Comment below what you guys think, but I love it. Now, if you watched the last video, you already have all the clips of me driving, the drive-bys, the interior footage, the GoPro footage on the hood. You've got all that, so I'm not gonna do that all over again. I just wanted to throw the flap on it quick and just see what it did. And it, it was exactly what I expected. It's awesome. All right. Let me head back home with this awesome piece of machinery. Ah, that Raptor's probably jealous, huh? They don't make a diesel Raptor, do they, bud? I'd be jealous too. Flap is up. That's when you know we're in race mode.
Boys, I hope you enjoyed that because I was pretty much just laughing the whole time as I was driving this thing, watching this flapper just bub bub. I think I got some weird looks, expectedly, because I had the GoPro on the hood, so people see that, and then they look over and see this flapper, and then they hear this loud freaking little mini truck. It was a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, with that comes the bad news. Stack's coming off. Uh, I had my fun with it. It's time to go back to more of a daily. I'll put the exhaust back on it. The full exhaust. I mean, it's still going to sound good, but it's not going to draw so much attention. Now, that doesn't mean the hood stack is done for good. It will make it come back because it's not a huge pain to, to put on and take off. And, and I'll show you guys that process here in a minute or two. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's just a couple bolts. Slide it down through or slide it up through, whichever way I can get it out. Put the old exhaust back on. I actually left the rear of the exhaust on. Just the mid pipes aren't in there. I'm going to swap that out and that's going to be the end of the hood stack for now. It'll make it come back. I'd like to do like an off-road video, like go to Roush Creek or something maybe next time I go. And I'll put the hood stack back on just, just purely for fun. I mean, that's what this whole thing was about. It was just for fun. So stand by while I swap this out. And then I can show you guys kind of what the finished downpipe looks like the whole way to the bottom so you guys can make fun of me and pick apart my fab skills for this temporary hood stack. All right, it's 11. We'll see how long this takes to get off. So I'll start with taking the flapper off. Little black in there. Not too bad though, this thing runs pretty clean. This is why I made it into two pieces, just in case. There, two piece down pipe removal. Basically how it worked is, down pipe comes down from the turbo here, connects to this, quick U, tight U, more like a V, goes right back up through the hood. Much easier than trying to take the downpipe off and make it a whole new downpipe. Sure, that would route it straight up, but that would be a lot of work. If you never took a downpipe off one of these trucks, you'd know the struggle. Really, I, th I think this looks decent for what it is. Did its purpose, did its purpose well. Now I just gotta put the exhaust back on. That should hopefully go smoothly. Just got to check for leaks and it's done and that took 11:30. so a little over half an hour to get the downpipe out and the new exhaust or the old exhaust put back in not bad at all the fact that this doesn't take long means it will definitely make a return along with the flapper just check for leaks quick there are none so that's good to go hood insulation and cowl needs to be put back in and it's totally done If I buy a hole, like it never even happened. No idea there's a hole in this hood. Now, there are five of these, and four of them seem to have disappeared, so I need to order all those. I mean, this thing is still, it's good because it's held in the bottom and held at the top. Got one in the middle, but I need to order four of those to make it right. See, to everyone who is worried that I cut a hole in my expensive ZR2 diesel, fear no more, because you can't tell. Absolutely no idea. And if you didn't think this was my plan all along, then you're sorely mistaken. I knew what I was doing. With that being said, guys, say goodbye, at least temporarily, to the hood stack and the flapper. It's been real. It's been fun. We will see this at a later date. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. Give me your ideas in the comments. See what we can make happen. And we'll see you in the next video.